Hello guys, welcome to the another session. This session is the continuation of the earlier session which we were doing for Python refresher. In the earlier session, we have discussed about the basic data types. Now in this session, we are going to look into the collection types or container types. Mainly we are going to discuss about lists, dictionaries, sets, tuples. So why I am doing the refresher for these topics? That is because these topics are frequently used topic whenever we are doing data analysis. So let's jump into the Jupyter notebook and look into each of these topic one by one. As I already mentioned that there are various type of collection types or say container types in Python. So the first container type which we are going to look into is the lists. So in Python you can create the list by following this syntax. So you can write a variable name list one equal to and you need to specify the elements within the square bracket. So over here I will specify two, two comma four comma six and shift enter. So this way we have created a list within Python. Now the second question is how we can access the element of these lists. So to access it, we need to pass the index value. So let's do it. Suppose that if I want to access the element four, then we need to specify list one shift enter. Then you will find that it has given us the value four as the list is getting indexed with the number zero as it is a zero based indexing. So if you have any question on lists and all these data types, so you can refer my course that is learn coding from scratch with Python 3 you can go there and you can finish that course if, if you want more understanding about these topic for a time being you just remember that if you want to access the list element so you can access it through the index value. So here we are having three elements. So the first element is represented with value zero. If you specify zero over here shift enter then you will get the value of zeroth position index of this particular list. Same way if you want to access value six then you need to specify two shift enter then you will get the value six. Now the second question is how we can add another item within this list. So there is a method called append. So you can use it list one. For example, if you want to append another value like eight, then you can write it like this shift enter. Now print the list one, list one, shift enter. Then you will find that the value is being appended to this list. Suppose that if you want to take any value from this list, then you need to specify print list one dot pop. You need to specify pop and shift enter. Then you will find that it has popped out the last element which it has inserted. So it will always pop out the last element. So if you will again copy this one and paste it over here, it will take out the value six. So see here now just print the value. Let's print the list one. Then you will find that it remains with two elements so two and four and this list is not specific for the integer value you can put any other value which is of different data type so how you can do that so let's look into that so suppose that if you want to push any other value which is not an integer type xyz shift enter and when you print this then you will find that it is being appended to this list so this is of integer data type and this is of a string. So we can keep both the data type within the list in Python. So now let's discuss about slicing of list. So how we can slice a list. So, so let's look into that. So this topic is going to be slicing of list. Suppose that if I want to grab the value two and four only from the list, but prior to demonstrate how we can slice the list we have to understand that what actually slicing is slicing is nothing but a technique within python by which you can access the sub list within the list so what it means let's look into with an example suppose that i am having this list and i want to grab two and four as a separate list so how we can do that we need to specify I'm directly going to print it. So the real syntax is going to be list one. And within that, I need to specify like this 
over here I need to specify square bracket colon and the two elements so shift enter then you will find that it has extracted from this list the two elements from the original list so this is also a list but we have extracted the, the two values from the original list now suppose if you want to access the last these two elements so how we can access it so you need to specify the starting position list one so I want that from position one to all so that means if I am not specifying any value so that means I want to grab all the value which is starting from one to all value blank means all value if you press shift enter then it will return you the position which is being started with the index position is 1 and 4 is placed at index position 1 till the end now let's proceed further now suppose if you want to access the last value that means last element so there is a special index that is minus 1 so what you need to so what you need to tell over here you need to specify minus 1 shift into then you will find that it has extracted the last element of this particular list so now let's proceed further so we are having a list list 1 and suppose that if we want to replace the value of index 0 and index 1 so how we can do that we need to specify that something like this list 1 and over here you need to specify that square bracket and within that you need to specify 0 to 1 and over here you need to specify what element you want to place so I am going to tell that I am going to specify over here 3 and 9 I am going to place for 2 and 4 so shift into now over here I will print list 1 then you will find that the value is being replaced so this way you can replace the value within the list now let's proceed further now the example which we are going to look into so how we can iterate a list for example if we are having a list called fruit ball and this fruit ball contains various fruits like apple orange grapes and peach now suppose that if you want to iterate this list so how we can do that we are going to use first for loop so let's iterate with for loop then we will look into some other way to iterate it so we need to specify fruit in fruit ball and over here you need to print one by one so we are going to tell that print fruit and shift enter so this way you will iterate each of the element one by one now suppose if you want to access the index of each of these elements so how we can access it so let's look into that so to do that we are going to use enumerate one of the built-in method of Python so this way we can access the so with the help of enumerate we are going to access the index so how we can do that let's look into that for index value and over here we need to specify fruit in enumerate so we will specify the fruit ball within the enumerate function and it will give us the index as well as the element so here we will do the formatted print so how we can do the formatted print we need to specify that at number to print the digit we need to specify percentage d and over here we need to specify colon and to print the string to format the string we need to specify percentage s and now let's specify the value for it so we need to tell that percentage and over here we need to do index plus one so that it will add in each iteration comma fruit so this will go and sit at this place and this will sit at this place so the output will look something like this so at number one we are having apple at number two we are having orange at number three we are having grapes and at number four we are having peach so this way you can access the index of each element within the list why I am telling all this because whenever we are doing data analysis we are going to play with indexes in a very regressive manner that's the reason I am going with the base concepts so that you will be comfortable while learning the data analysis if you are having good understanding about these topic you can skip these refresher session 
and directly go to the numpy session so now let's proceed further and let's discuss about one of the important topic called list comprehension so now let's discuss about the list comprehension list comprehension is one of the easiest way to transform the data which we are analyzing sometime we need to transform the data within the data analysis so we need a easiest way to transform the data so for example if we are having an array say some num and this list we are having some value 0 1 2 3 4 and this number i want to square it so usually how we do we can create another list which will hold the squared value and we need to iterate the list so we need to write for x in some num and over here we need to specify that whenever we will iterate a value we will append to the another list that is a square and this value is the squared value so how we will do the square we will use the double asterisk for exponential term x to the power 2 and now we will print this value so let's print it print x and at last we will print the entire square so we will tell that square shift into so here you will find that it has squared all the values but this is not the uh, easiest way and this is not the quickest way so how we can build the same functionality with the, with the help of list comprehensions so how we can design the same function in a one liner so let's look into that so what we will do we will create another list that is called square 2 equal to and over here the syntax is something like this we need to first specify for x in some num and now you should remember that the output we need to the thing which we want to process for example i want to transform this x and i want to store it over here so you need it so you need to write it first so you need to specify x double asterisk 2 that means exponential of this x and it will calculate this value this will be iterated all the value will be iterated one by one and then it will be squared and now at last we will print the square to square to shift enter then you will find that we have performed all these operations in a single line so this way of iterating the list is called list comprehension and it is mostly used technique within the data analysis whenever we are doing any kind of data transformation which we will use it whenever we start our data analysis part of this course you can also specify the condition within the list comprehension so what you need to do to specify the condition suppose that if you want to create this square as a even square so that it will hold only the even number so let's write it within the same program you need to specify over here if condition like this if x value that means this value mode of 2 equal to 0 that means the number is even value now let's run it make sure that you are specifying over here now shift enter then you will find that it holds the even number only and this way you can apply the if condition within list comprehension so this is very handy technique so here we are doing many things in a single line so you should have to used to with this syntax and however you want to interpret you can interpret it i generally interpret i just suppose that if i am don't have if condition i write it like let's iterate this sum num and it should be coming to x and whatever operations which i want to perform that should go to the left hand side and whichever we are iterating that should go to the right hand side and if you want to introduce another condition so we it should go to the right hand side so this way you can interpret and you can remember the logic however you want to remember it this session is going to be very long now so i am stopping it over here in the next session we will look into dictionaries dictionaries sets and tuples we will try to cover all these topic in one session but if it is going long so i will stop there and i will 
create another session for each of these topic because this topic is very important topic and I want that you should get a proper knowledge about these topics so that you can easily use these knowledge into data analysis. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Take care.